The seasoned charity worker and high-profile presenter Sir Jimmy Savile, who fronted legendary TV shows including Top of the Pops and Jim Will Fix It, has been accused of sexual abuse against underage teenage girls in an explosive ITV1 documentary. Several of the alleged victims speak on the programme, explaining how the abuse took place in hospitals, schools and BBC buildings. All said they were too scared to report the abuse, as Savile was a powerful media figure and charity worker, and they wouldn't be believed. Sir Jimmy was never charged with any abuse offences during his lifetime. However, allegations were reported to Surrey Police, who released a statement which said Savile was interviewed in 2007 over offences which were alleged to have occurred at a children's home in Staines in the 1970s. The matter was then referred to the Crown Prosecution Service, which advised there was insufficient evidence to take any further action. But rumours always circulated in TV and media circles. Children's campaigner Esther Ransom said she believes the five women who made sexual abuse allegations against Sir Jimmy Savile. While broadcaster Paul Gambaccini has claimed Mr Savile used his charity fundraising work as a lever to prevent his private life being exposed. ITV has defended the documentary despite an angry reaction from the late DJ's family. They added the programme takes full account of the fact that Sir Jimmy is not here to defend himself against these claims. The documentary The Other Side of Jimmy Savile is going to be broadcast on Wednesday. I'm Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the very latest news and updates with me at ibtimes.co.uk.